Welcome to the Back Pew. This coming weekend at First Lutheran Church Galveston, we are going to be hearing about the rich man and Lazarus. It's a story that Jesus tells trying to invite us and welcome us into thinking about some really hard stuff. It has to do with how we live our everyday life. A rich man dies. He goes into Hades. He goes into the place of the dead, in other words. There he's being tormented, he's suffering, and he cries out to Abraham, Abraham, have Lazarus dip his, his finger into the water and bring it to me. Lazarus was a poor man, a man that begged at the gate, a man that Lazarus didn't share his goods with, a man that Lazarus never took note of. And even while in Hades, he only looked at Lazarus as someone to serve him. Lazarus is with Abraham. So this story is one about how we live our daily lives. The rich man says, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. well, if, if nothing can be done for me, then go tell my five brothers. Abraham says, they already have Moses and the prophets. Why would they believe if someone came back from the dead? See, the question is, do we get it? Are we living like Lazarus or are we living like the rich man where it's all about us? These are tough stories, folks, because they're really pushing us to look at how are you spending your time? How are you spending your energies? How are you spending your money? Are you living a life that's all about you? All about your pleasures, your wants, your desires? Or are you living a life in which you're caring for the sake of others? That you're sharing from the bounty God has given you to take care of others? Folks, that's part of why Feed Galveston is so exciting for us, because we're able to share and we're able to make a difference. This is what Jesus is after. So where are you at with that in your life? How are you living? Deep questions? We'll talk about it this weekend. I look forward to seeing you this weekend at First Lutheran Church Galveston. If the back pew has been meaningful, please pass it along. Share it via Facebook. Make sure you like it. And also let your friends know. We want folks to have a chance to think about it. Have a blessed rest of your week. See you this weekend.